But the main thing is what we're doing here is we're having fun together. So thank you for partaking in this. Before we play, I'll tell you a little bit about who we are. I go by Cammy, which is my birth name. This is my birth father, Don. So together we are Cammy and Don, the biological duo. <laughs> we met about two and a half years ago because I had a private investigator help me locate where Don may be and if he was alive. I was in the foster care system until I was four, and then I was adopted out into a family that was so generous to help me always kind of have a roof over my head, and they're wonderful people. Uh, but I was always wondering about that missing link, like who is my birth father, and is he still alive? I knew about my birth mother, I missed her, she passed away before I had a chance to meet her, but I didn't know if Don was still alive. So I also knew a lot about his history, which he can tell you in a little bit. He had a very rock star rodeo life. And so because of that lifestyle, it included a lot of incarceration, a lot of, he actually chose to be homeless for a long time because he liked it for him and his freedom. He'll tell you about that. I had a private investigator help me locate where he was, um, that he was alive, and we just started hanging out. And one of the things I didn't know was that he was a musician. And so both of us separate in very, very six degrees of separation. Kevin Bacon style, for real. Um, we were doing similar things, just on different sides of the spectrum, in similar places. Like, he was the lead band director in his prisons. I wrote a, a rehabilitation program for men that were incarcerated, and I was at the same jail that he was at. I just didn't meet him at that time. Wow. So it was just really wild, yeah. There's just a lot of very interesting little tidbits. So without further ado, we're going to perform some music from this documentary that's called Homeless the Soundtrack. There is a trailer that's online. Sometimes we play the trailer, a documentary team decided to film us reality style and just follow us around and then they put together this really neat short. So we're going to play some songs from that. And then afterwards, we're going to open up the floor to have you ask us questions about our story or, you know, whatever you want to ask. We're very candid, we're very open, we've been doing this for a very long time in a lot of different settings. Also, you might notice there's some, there's stuff over there on the table. a lot of legal paperwork from my adoption, from my birth mother's death, history about Dawn, it's really fun actually. A lot of photographs, I have some photographs that I got from Dawn about his childhood and then mine, the foster care system, and then mine later. Um, some of the film stuff we've been in, and a neat little book that when I met Dawn and we decided to partner up together and he decided on his own to sort of change his life and do different things he'd never done before. I decided, well, sure, like in his whole life he had an Olsen vial which is basically the file that documents everything that the government or the police department's very unhappy about. So I was like, let's just do our own. Let's, let's document our own. So I made our own file of everything we decided to do from the very beginning in our own way. And so there's a piece of that there that has a lot of really neat notes of things and stuff that we've done. And he's such an awesome rock star. And we're gonna play, so that's it. This first song is called One of These Days. Are you feel wanted all the time Show you good loving so you know you're mine One of these days and it won't be long All of these shadows Thank you. 
playing in like this space and I'm always learning like okay so once people come if anyone comes in a small space like this the sound changes so I'm like oh just playing the sound so thank you for being forgiving with my yeah I, at the frequency an it's then. an empty room is different and like you know when you're in a bigger space there's a lot more there's more room like forgiving for volume and stuff so I'm always learning okay. Let's see, um, okay, we'll do this one. This is a lot about the idea of not really having a steady home, but the road is your home. So, will I run where I belong? Playing guitar and singing songs. While this room is all I know, I'll keep going. But I'm not gone People think that I just don't care But they don't know what's going on in here Head from the dreams that could go anywhere Guess you could say I is all I know Singing songs Singing rhymes People think that I just don't care They don't know what's going on in me Head full of dreams that could go anywhere You say I up in the air, up in the air, where the feet don't need no shoe. Up in the air, where the skies are gray blue. Up in the air, there's nothing to lose. They don't know, but I do. People think that I just don't care. They don't know what's going on in here. Head for the dreams that could go anywhere. So I say I'm 
up in the air. I said, I guess you could say I'm up in the air. country tip, we might as well keep it happy. We've got 18 more. I'm just kidding. <laughs> each other we don't or whatever you know and like I always wondered like who, who am I like or like what do I look like do I look like somewhere out there like, you know the music bit and it's kind of funny so I went to Nashville for like six months and like wrote music and made recordings right and and I always kind of was like oh maybe I'm kind of like a phony because I'm really from LA how am I going to like Nashville and writing this music and then it happened Don has a lineage that goes all the way to Tennessee and I'm like see I'm legit you're legit. This is genetics. Fine humor. I hope you can take it. Okay. This song was in the film, but it wasn't a song yet. And I say the film like it's like some big thing, but no, really, it was just some camera and people. We didn't know who they were. We were just like, yeah, cool, we'll do whatever. And we were improvising some stuff. And then later, the director was like, hey, can you play that song when we do these things? And I was like, what song? There's no song. So then we had to carve it out. Um, and it's called Take the Pain Away, and it's a lot about different themes in the film. So uh, I'll just sing it, and you can kind of gather it, but you might guess that this genre may not be Dawn's first genre. 
And if you didn't guess that, well, after I play this, I'm gonna, we're gonna change hats and you're gonna get to see really where the music comes from. <laughs>
also in our film. It's called Until Then. And uh, just a special song with Dawn on lead guitar. <laughs> Yes, I have loved my